Haiti's main coalition of criminal gangs, G9, has indicated that they will release their vice grip on the country's fuel resources, allowing distribution to occur from fuel terminals occupied and controlled by gang factions for now. G9 coalition leader Jimmy Cherizier said that the gangs want to allow the resumption of operations of hospitals, schools and embassies, and the return of vital utilities such as water and electricity to the population. 70% of Haiti's fuel storage capacity has been under gang control since October 17th. In the month or so that has elapsed, retail prices spiked before inventories dried up, and any hospitals that managed to stay open had to ration resources and turn away new patients due to their dwindling, dwindling fuel supplies to run generators. The country was also teetering on the edge of a major water crisis, with the local water utility recently indicating that fuel to run water pumps and filtration systems was days away from being depleted. The release of the fuel terminals means that the diesel and petrol that power the country will flow again just ahead of the annual November 18th commemoration of the 1803 Battle of Vertiers, the last major battle of the Haitian Revolution and an important date for patriotic Haitians. Cherizier is said to have deliberately relaxed his hold on the country's fuel supplies to facilitate celebrations and ceremonies on that date. The gang leader told reporters that's all the time the country will get to replenish dwindling fuel stores. After the 18th, the gates of the Varro fuel terminal will slam shut again, Cherizé says, unless two key demands are met, that the Haitian National Police withdraw all forces from the Varro area and that Prime Minister Ariel Henry resigns. If the Prime Minister is not gone by Thursday, Cherizier says the country will once again be starved of fuel until Henri is no longer in office. Shortly after the press conference in which the gang leader made the announcement, his men cleared the roads and laid down their weapons, allowing traffic into the terminal. Up to 70 fuel tankers have visited every day since then. The National Association of Petroleum Products Distributors has indicated that it is prioritizing the restocking of petrol stations across the country for the week. The office of the Prime Minister has yet to officially respond to the developments.